Oh, very exotic today. <laughs> Many thanks, uh, Mrs. H. Welcome to the midweek Wednesday shave. How are you doing? How's the week going for you? All right. Uh, and how's the shaves going? Okay, I hope. So what are we going to use then? Right to celebrate the oh, celebrate the midweek. We're going to use this uh, Mule R one hundred eight three piece non adjustable with this beautiful sort of uh, faux tortoiseshell handle. False tortoiseshell. If you can see that, beautiful. Uh, that's the razor. The blade of choice is one of these Gillette Wilkinson blades, brand new uh, from the Saloon Pack. Nice blade, uh, brand new. The soap of choice, like I said uh, last time, sent from heaven shaving soap with cold tar, cucumber extract. Uh, no longer available. This business isn't going, I don't think, because when I try to put this web address in, it comes up with uh, unavailable, so that's quite sad. It was a good soap from what I remember. And I'm blooming the soap in the Captain's Choice Copper Shaving Bowl, the heavyweight. Um, if you can see in there, well, there's the soap. But I'm going to use the Bloom Water as a pre-shave. And the brush is going to be, if I can get it out, this thing. The Mocha, the Yaki 24mm synthetic mocha similar handle or similar looking handle so that's been soaking in this little jar um, I want to say a big thank you to uh, John Wasson very kindly uh, sent look at this beautiful card uh, these are Texas blue bonnets Mrs H knows about them she likes that uh, and he sent me some sample bath soaps hand soaps and uh, some aftershaves. Uh, the one I'm using today is Sharp by Sterling, by the way. Sharp Dressed Man, which is the uh, green Irish tweed scent. Beautiful. Thank you, John. And how he did it, very cleverly, very thoughtful, very kind. Uh, he's coming on vacation, or holiday as we call it, to London. And he brought the three bottles and the soap with him. Uh, and then when he got to London, he posted them up to me here. Um, and I thought that was very thoughtful and very kind, so thank you. The other one he sent was Sterling, Executive Man, which is the Aventus scent. And then uh, the classic Barbershop scent. So many thanks, John. Very kind. John Wasson from Texas. And he's on holiday in London. So I hope you're having a good, if you're still there, I hope you're having a good time. And if you're home, I hope you had a good time. And visited the shaving shops there. You can't go with <laughs> like a kid in a candy store. Right, let's get going. So I'm going to use, just wet my face. It's a nice sunny day. So I hope the lighting's okay. Right, we'll use the bloom water if we can. Save wasting it. Now at the present, I can't smell any coal tar scent, so I hope it's still there. But we shall see. Okay. Yeah, shame has gone out of business. Or oh, they've stopped, I shouldn't say gone out of business. I'm not sure the reasons, but I uh, hope it's not too, uh, nothing serious. So I'm going to just hold the soap with my thumb and just lather up like that. Straight away. I remember it was a good soap this. In actual fact, I can remove that now because uh, what the bowl has done has created some of the bottom. So more than enough in there. A bit more water. We'll see. Oh yeah, getting a slight scent of it now. I can't remember if the scent was a strong scent. 
maybe I've been spoiled with the right so that's quite a strong um, sense that's good enough there we'll see how we get on with that okay here we go mm. That's good, wow. Rinse the hands. Yeah, it's some good weather, sunny. It's gonna be um, cloudy today though, it's Wednesday. So here we are, the Mule R108, three piece, non-adjustable. There is overhang, very slight. Um, and it's a mid-aggression sort of thing, really. So here we go. Very nice blade this. As you can see it goes straight away. I hope it's lighted, it seems funny to me today. It looks dark. The light has a it's funny, you know, the sun is coming in. And I don't know whether it's the and the lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> But uh, it seems to have an effect on it sometimes. So I apologise if it's dark. Now the scent, actually, is non-existent. <laughs> there's, there's a slight scent there, um, but it's nothing as it was. It was quite strong. So I presume over the couple of years, it's uh, it's lost its uh, scent. I've never had that before. Uh, a soap lose its scent. I've we it, I've um, used a soap, and it's been brilliant when it's new, and then maybe use it a year or two later, and it's weaker. But it's never gone, and I can't smell anything. But it's a good soap. Quite a shame that, because. Uh, And many thanks, uh, somebody said in the comments, uh, that um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements send, uh, send, make the some, something cold tar scent Christmas time, so we'll see. Really nice. Do a great job. That's a good first pass. Now I remember this soap being a slick soap, so we'll see. Yeah, the slickness is still there, fair play. Yeah. That's all right, that's a good first pass. Okay, another thing I forgot to show you, uh, John sent with um, the card, the three aftershaves, some bath soap, which um, matches these and the big she he sent some large soaps for mrs h to use and she loves them so thanks john and he sent this which is no longer available it's a astro traveler shaving soap by phoenix artisan accoutrements it's no longer available and do you know when i it doesn't say in the back as far as i can see what it is but that scent reminds me of something a very familiar scent can't think what it is. 
But I like that. I don't mind not knowing. I recognise the scent, but I can't put a name to it. But it's really, really nice. So we'll go now. Second pass. Try a bit more. A bit more water. Nice brush. It hasn't lost its uh, lathering capabilities. It's good slickness, just the, the scent's gone, Shane. Nice and... That's how I like it. Thick and creamy. Did you have a nice weekend? Sunday dinner was beautiful. Duck breast, crispy. So here we go, second pass. Mule R, R108. Yeah, John was in contact with Mrs H and uh, arranged it all, so. Thank you, Mrs. H and, for, and John. Very lucky people have been sending. Really lucky. And of course, hopefully it makes the, uh, the videos watchable and, you know, different things. And someone said in the comments, uh, and so far, I've been lucky in the last few videos, I've been able to answer most of the comments. Uh, I love doing that, if I can. So many thanks for leaving them and for watching. Thanks for your time. The, uh, somebody said, uh, why do you need, must have seen all them, why do you need so many brushes? Good question. Why do we need so many brushes? Well, the answer and the truth of it is we don't need that many brushes. But how it happens, they're not, they're not purchased or there because I want every one of them. They're there because I've purchased some of them. Um, some of them were sent in by the companies that make them, or the brush makers. And some were sent in by you good people, the viewer. Some of the viewers. Um, so that's why I've got them and so many but the the answer is I don't need them you only need one brush really but like anything when it becomes a hobby when something you enjoy uh, they they collect and they accumulate I'm very proud of each and every one of them and I use them so uh Hopefully that answers that. But it was a good question that. Why do you need some Same as razors, same as soaps. Why do we need them? We don't need them, but we like them. We acquire them. That's a lovely slickness now. Wow. Apologies if this uh, isn't as good today. I don't know what's going on. You're on an off day, this camera. You're on an off day, are <laughs> We're all allowed an off day. The ice cream man will be round in a minute. <laughs> or we'll have Pavarotti on the uh, halfway through the video on the interval third application add a bit more water let's see how she does wet mm. just as good it's a lovely brush this the mocha they do another version of this handle, not the mocket style, it's like a roundish. I think uh, Flash Boredom's got one, and I quite like that actually. Right, here we go. The Paul H brush. You can see in the middle, the top white one there, that's uh, that sold out what the, they made, but um, they contacted me saying there is a few left. 
um, should we sell them? So I said, yes, if you know people want them, um, sell what's left. So if you wanted one of them brushes, I'll leave a link in the in the bottom under the video uh, if you if you like that type of thing or you want to have a look at it. That's a third pass against the growth. So thanks to everybody that bought one. It's strange, you know, th thinking somebody's got a brush with your name on it. It's like a, it's, a, it's quite an honour, really. Because who am I? I'm not a, not like I'm a movie star or anything like that. I'm just a Joe Blog, normal working man who likes shaving and makes videos about it. So very. This is a nice shave this. It's not a it's a mid aggression. You can hear there's a good audio feedback, lovely blade, brand new. Nice to see Joe from Queens being uploading. Uh, it's like many people when you see it's like uh, Steve Farragher. When you haven't heard from them for a while, you think I hope they're okay. I know Steve's a busy man. He's, he runs a lot of stuff and in Liverpool, and I must go and see him actually. Steve Farragher, the big shave. Right, that's that. This is really nice. Wow, good. Yeah, I knew the slickness. I remember the slickness. It's good on this. Just a shame the scent has gone. So if you like a scentless soap, you can buy any of them, and then <laughs> they'll lose it after a few years. But as you can see, it's a few years old, but it, it works well. What time is it now? Thank you very much. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. And pick up time it is. I'm not going to go back to the puck. There's enough there. So blooming, this soap likes a drink. Well, it's no good saying as if you're going to buy it, you can't get it. But uh, it does like a drink. Likes to be bloomed and uh, likes adding more water during the shave. It works really well. Thank you. Here we go, pick up time. Baby. Oh, I had another question about the Williams soap. Oh, you haven't used that for a while and I have a neat trick on getting a good lather from it. Well, I mean, if you want to challenge, you want to have a go and try and make a lather, nothing wrong with that at all, but you shouldn't have to have some cryptic code to lather a soap up. If they go back to the old formula, Williams, what they used to have, I would gladly use it. But until that day, it'll stay in its box as a... Moment. I like the box, it's a lovely box. Old soap as well, shame. And I've always said they must notice a fall in sales and I don't know that why they do it. Always there. Yeah, to be fair, you should be able to just buy a soap. If it needs any special instruction, like, you know, 
works better if bloomed or soaked in water or whatever that'll be on if you follow it as it says it should work straight away but like you know yourselves a majority of soaps work really good don't they um, they all have their sort of unique characters where you have to use them in a certain way or whatever uh, for them to be at their best for you I mean because your water might be different whatever how was that just a touch there no oh, this is lovely that's wow very happy with that so here we go rinse cold rinse oh that's nice And I'm gonna. <laughs> I feel like a, they're massive things and <laughs> very nice. I did um. If some of you follow me on my other channel, I did a walk to a quite a famous photography spot in Snowdonia National Park called Llyn Padan and there's a tree there it's known as the Lonely Tree and there's people there usually queuing up photographers to take this shot it's a shot of the Lonely Tree lake behind and a valley of Snowdonia beautiful um, shot you know and uh, we went and did a bit of a video on it so uh, I'll put a link to that at the end on the end screens of this video if anybody's interested if, you, if you've seen it don't uh, worry but uh, in case you're interested in uh, seeing the beautiful area we live in very lucky to live in such places and we do appreciate it and uh, nice to share it with with the world now we've got things like YouTube and stuff um, a very basic uh, boots the chemist I bought this uh, a few years ago, a witch hazel. Don't know if they sell this one now, but I think they sell it in uh, Savers or some shop like that. Yeah, I can't stand the smell of witch hazel on its own. It's okay, but I wouldn't like an aftershave of it. It's funny, and some people love the scent. But it's good for the skin. Right, now we come to the exciting stuff. Sterling Soap Company. C premium quality, sharp dressed man aftershave splash. The green tweed scent. Irish, green Irish tweed, I should say. Beautiful scent. Or it's based on the green Irish tweed. Oh yeah, Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. hey. Hey, we're talking wedding stuff, this. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's lovely, that. Yes. Nice, beautiful. Many thanks, John. Uh, like I say, if you're still in London, I hope you're having a great vacation. Of your back home, I hope you had one and uh, took a few uh, mementos of your holiday. So, put the moisture back on you. I haven't used this for a while. L'Oreal uh, Men Expert Hydrosensitive Soothing Birch Sap, 0% alcohol. And that'll do us. Oh, yeah, nice mixture. That's quite a nice scent. And I may even be a bit cheeky and put a bit more of that on later on. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Say hello to Amanda, you're watching. Hope you're okay. And your dad, Stephen. Right. And I hope you good people are okay and that's it so just to recap very quickly I know you've got lives to live and things to do the mule r108 three-piece non-adjustable razor beautiful uh, false um, tortoiseshell faux f-a-u-x 
uh, nice when it catches the light it's a lovely color um, we used a brand new uh, Gillette Wilkinson blade saloon pack blade lovely really nice in that, in that razor felt lovely nice and smooth and cleanly cleanly cut we've used the Yaki 24mm synthetic mocha handle brush good one very nice captain's choice copper heavyweight bowl I'll put links to what I can in the down below you should know by now if it helps you out um, then we've rinsed off with water Adam's ale now we've used the basic uh, chemist witch hazel and then we've used sterling sharp dressed man the uh, green Irish tweed scent and it's very nice actually I've not had that scent before uh, the proper stuff and then we put the moisture or back in the skin or protection using the L'Oreal Hydro Sensitive uh, Soothing Birch Sap Post Shave Balm 0% colorant or alcohol and that's the end result doesn't make you good looking but it makes you feel damn good and I hope you have a fantastic week the rest of this week uh, take care of yourselves stay in good health and um, try and smile through anything bad if you can get through it <laughs> have a great shave yeah that helps so uh, have a great rest of the week and i'll see you on sunday for the uh, weekend shave so take care and thank you very much